The SMART reflection process was developed to help teachers grow professionally and reflect in an honest and evaluatory format. This five-step process is meant to be used in conjunction with a competency-based professional learning to guide the educator in the growth and reflection process. Not only can they demonstrate what they have learned, they can also highlight what their students got out of the instruction by providing examples of the work. The example used in this video is from an intensive one-to-one -one camp held over the course of four days in a blended learning environment. The first step in this process is S, which stands for Select an Instructional and Strategy. Teachers identify the high yield strategy and or practice where they might need the most growth and enhance instructional practices for their students. Teachers are likely to choose an area of growth based on their t-test goals and needs. Once the teacher receives the training, they move to the next step, called Master the Method. Here, teachers can receive training in the strategy via direct teach, an online course, a book study, or alternative means. In this step, an instructional coach becomes key in helping them review their lesson and determine an implementation plan that best meets the needs of their students. The next step in this process is A, which stands for Apply the Strategy. At this point, teachers go back to their classroom and actually teach the lesson they've planned for. This activity is well planned and all lesson resources are available at this point for student product evaluation. The second to last step is reflection, and this just might be one of the most powerful parts to this entire process. Here, teachers are not only asked to answer questions about the lesson, but they are also asked to evaluate student work and submit three samples that demonstrate needs improvement, proficient, and advanced levels of learning from their students. Teachers must reflect on the impact of instructional coaching, increase student engagement if a lesson goals and student outcomes are met, and evaluate whether they personally thought the implementation process was successful. The final piece to this process is called transform practice. After a full evaluation and reflection of what they have learned and implemented, the educator will have a much better understanding and grasp on what they have really learned. They will be able to take that experience and go further with it onto another lesson, or perhaps be even able to share it with their coworkers. This is where we can finally start helping educators in transforming their instructional practice and raising student achievement.